You know what you are. Your skin is pale white and ice cold. You don't go out into the sunlight. Say it out loud. Say it. Vampire. Are you afraid? No. Hot and heavy abstinent vampire teens. Did I just say abstinent? Yep, that's right. Author Stephanie Meyer is Mormon, and parents love her Twilight books as much as their kids do. Vampire Edward's fight not to drink his human girlfriend's blood is a metaphor for not succumbing to lust before marriage. And all that sexual frustration translates into angst, which has been looking good on screen since James Dean. But despite selling over 17 million copies worldwide, the series has only recently popped up on the mainstream media's radar. Maybe that's how production company turned full-blown studio Summit Entertainment was able to scoop up the rights from Paramount Pictures in turnaround. Unusual for a blockbuster, but the writer and director are women. But don't mistake this for a feminist film. Whereas in male fantasy movies, guys learn they have special powers, in this female fantasy, the girl learns her boyfriend has special powers. And he's played by Harry Potter alum Robert Pattinson, who's now poised for super stud stardom. In fact, he had to cancel a signing at teen clothing store Hot Topic after 3,000 fans showed up, turning violent when it looked like they might not all get in to see him. But with Twilight debuting in over 3,000 screens, there'll be room for everyone this weekend. If I'm going to ask people about Twilight, maybe I should read the book. Ugh, better get started. This week on WePC TV. How have computers changed the recording industry and your job? The fact that people can make records on their own is huge. It's definitely opened up the possibilities. WePC TV is brought to you by ASUS and Intel. You dream it, ASUS builds it, Intel inside it. Ooh, a lot of angst going on there. Let's see if it's the same deal with the film. What movie did you just see? I saw Twilight. How was it? It was good. I loved it. I didn't like it. I thought it was kind of so-so. There were parts of it where I was like, oh, this could have been a really good movie if, and then they just have a lot of montages of the two main characters lying on their backs in the snow. And I cried, actually, in the, in the beginning of the end, and um, it was a great movie. I was melting. I was yeah. like, oh, my God. Just, we were actually tearing. <laughs> if you like love stories, it's fine. If you like horror, it's kind of slow. The action sequences were satisfying. I did like them. I just wanted more of them and less of the hokey love story. He protected her. He loved her. That was his woman. It was her. awesome. Yeah, I think it's the fantasy that every girl has of some amazing guy liking, liking her for being herself and not liking her because she's pretty or popular. What do you think of the movie promoting abstinence? That's cool. Do you think kids will get that or do you think it will go over their heads? No, I think they'll get it. They'll get it. I think it'll they'll be a role model for them. They'll see it like, oh, wow, this is cool, you know? Yeah. This movie promotes abstinence. Uh, it does. In today's world, I mean, you can preach that, right? But don't go too far. you got to have some realism in there. How can Twilight and High School Musical 3 coexist? They can't. They can't. It's just... I hate High School Musical. Oh, High no, School Musical 3. High School Musical 3 is more entertaining in the sense that it's a musical, so it has to be more entertaining. But I kind of say... It's equal. I think they're kind of um, geared toward different types of kids. I mean, there are a ton of different kids out there. What do you think of Edward? Edward's fine. I mean, if you go for that type. No. Nope. <laughs> Remember him from a Harry Potter? That's yeah. what I was telling her. Yeah, yeah he's from Harry Potter. Yeah, yeah. that's the only time I, other movie that I ever seen him in, Harry Potter. So. Yeah, I need to see another movie with him. Because, you know, he was like... A lonely boy, like very quiet, so it wasn't like a Bruce Willis stuff, you know? What would you rate this movie on a 1 to 10? Mm, I'll give it a 9. 10? 6 or a 7? 2. 2? Two. 2. 4 or a 5? I would give it a 7. I'd give it a 7. 10. 10. 10. Oh, wait, no, take that back. 12. Despite all the hype, Twilight only gets a 7, because while second base is enough for some audiences, others want a home run. Oh, and hey, check us out on Facebook, where you can either befriend me, Grace Randolph, or become a fan of Beyond the Trailer. <laughs>